actual field work by teaching you how to navigate hey guys. your environment, collect and process I'm evidence, doing the walk use for the lab CSI. equipment, question suspects, and get information from your fellow CSI. And to exit the training, click the options icon on the lower right at any time. Thank this you is very the CSI much. More. Al Robbins will always be here to help you conduct the post-mortem examination for any investigation that has a victim. For now, we will use the objects on his table to show you how to examine evidence and how to use your forensic tools. To scan okay. the table area, you can move your mouse cursor over the left or right edges of the screen. To examine potential evidence, move your pointer over any of the objects on the table. See the forward arrow appear and click to get a closer look. Okay, so let's see. Left. Right. Cool. Now it wants us to, you know, try and uh, see how it turns green there. Um, yeah. Well, in this view, Means you can, can touch do the something. mouse to the edges of the screen like to look at the item from evidence. different angles. This works for the top, bottom, left and right edges of the screen. Cool. Sometimes this will reveal evidence hidden from view. You can also zoom your view in or out using the mouse wheel mm -hmm. or by clicking the buttons on the toolbar. Notice the back button on the toolbar indicates that you can return to the previous screen. You can do this by clicking the button itself or right-clicking anywhere on the screen. Try backing up now. Okay, so basically I'm doing this walkthrough because nobody that I have... I haven't run to, into anybody on YouTube who has done a complete walkthrough for CSI. Um, the third game, Dimensions of Murder. And I've watched the walkthroughs for the first one, the second one, or whatever else. And it's really cool, you know. Um, I thought it might, I, I wouldn't be really ready to play the game. <laughs> because of, you know, all the, the details you have to, you know. A lot of stuff you gotta do. And, uh, but anyways, before I go any further, you guys, I just wanna let everyone know out there, whoever's watching this, that this is this game is rated, I think it's rated mature, meaning I, it might be mature, it might be something else, it might be rated like 16 or teen or whatever, but you must be 16 years old to buy this game. Obviously, there's probably 16-year-olds out there, 15-year-olds out there playing it, whatever, but for those who should not be watching, you know, or playing these games, um... You should stop watching this video, because this is meant for mature audience only. Um, you know, but I'm sure those of you who've watched CSI, the actual show, are probably like, whatever. <laughs> I mean, nowadays, I mean, the limit's going to be 12, you know, instead of 16. But anyways, let me stop rambling. Okay, so press back. Now let's learn to use the tools. So back away. Again, this is the training. To examine one of the pieces of evidence have it on noticed. the table. Okay, so they want us to when you're close enough to evidence. use a forensic tool from your kit, the cursor will change to a tool icon. Mm. Clicking when it's visible will bring up the tool menu. Okay, so here's the green toolbox. Go ahead tools and click are on that. into either collection or detection tools. Rolling the cursor over any of the tools gives you a brief description of its use. For a simple description of each tool, roll the mouse over it and read the tip at the bottom of the screen. For a more detailed description of each tool, click the Tool Hub button. Simply okay. click the right mouse button to back out of the tool menu. Alright, so I'm not going to really, you know, go into details about this, but if you want to, you can go on, hover over each one of these tools for collection. Notice it's for collecting evidence. And then you can uh, click Help if you want more details. It'll explain it how to use it in more details. And detection tools are for probably enhancing stuff that's already there. Um, like you can barely see this f uh, fingerprint. I can see it, but you can barely notice it. And, um, of course, for those Nancy Drew fans, you would use um, a powder, special powder to put on it to kind of make it come out more. Because the oils, you know, the powder kind of sticks to the oils that come off of our hands so I'm not done here so uh, let's right click the mouse to back out of what to use a forensic tool from of your the kit. view the cursor will change to a tool icon clicking when it's visible will bring up the tool menu okay 
so it wants us to click on it again. You can use the fingerprint powder in your detection tool category tab to dust for fingerprints on smooth surfaces like this one. Select the fingerprint powder with a single click. Activate the brush by clicking and dragging over the surface until the print is fully revealed. Alright, so it only highlights the one, you know, that you have to use. In the real mode, I'm pretty sure it won't do that for you, so... There's the brush. All you do is click and move it around. You can also hold it. Whatever feels comfortable. Actually, I think you are supposed to hold it. Once it you have drag. revealed the print using powder, you can collect it with the Adhesive Tape tool. Select Adhesive Tape under the Collection Tools tab. To apply the tape, place it over the fingerprint and click. Got it. So, click on the tape or the adhesive. Yeah. <laughs> In those movies where they're using tape, that's like a more like a MacGyver type detective type thing. So, click on it. Evidence you collect is added to your evidence folder and categorized as either trace, documents, or items. Sometimes evidence has even more evidence on it. In these cases, you can apply your tools directly to the evidence from this view. To inspect the item for more evidence, rotate the object in the viewer by touching the mouse to the edges of the screen. If you suspect there may be more evidence on it, bring up the appropriate tool. Be sure to check each item thoroughly. Usually this kind of evidence is hard to see. Hear that, kids? Check each item thoroughly. I'm not going to check this one thoroughly because there's nothing for me to double check. There should not be evidence on top of this evidence. This is the evidence um, that was on top of the evidence. So The descriptions of the evidence will often update throughout the case, so check them regularly. Click on cool. an evidence icon in the toolbar to review what you know about it. To complete all required tasks in this location, collect the evidence on the table. Alright, so let's just go back to the can. Uh, actually, I can't go back to the can. I'll go to the this here, and that looks like a piece of hair. You can use the tweezers in your collection tool tab to collect most small bits of evidence. Select the tweezers with a single click. Then pick up the item by clicking directly over it. Cool. So I'll use the tweezers, pick it up. Cool. I'm not going to inspect it, so good, good. And then go to the wristwatch. You can use the gloves in your collection tool category tab to collect larger pieces of evidence. Select the gloves with a single click. Then pick up the item by moving the cursor over it and clicking. Sweet. Now, you use. it's the same way you use everything else. Just pick use the tool that you want to use this is a collection tool you guys because we're, we're using the glove to collect this item don't want to get our fingerprints on it and you can look at it you know I really hate this this because it goes so dang slow it's like really <laughs> I have to so anyway um, done there and I think there's one more thing you can barely see it but there's a looks like paint marks or scratches on there so you can use the digital camera from your collection tool category tab to collect visual evidence such as bruises or spatter yeah. patterns you can also use it to document important configurations of the crime scene such as the victim's body position select the digital camera with a single click then left click to snap the photo okay so um, yeah those are marks or something you can't collect those so take a picture of it and Boom! Cheese! Back you away! You have completed all required tasks in this location. So, it pops up here. We can go to the lab and check that out. And I'm going to do that in the next video. Thanks for watching.